Hello everybody, this is Testing Ted again, and as promised, I'm going to show you how to customize your Ubuntu 11.10 to suit your needs. More customization will be available by next release, but there are probably a few things on here that will still apply. Uh, for this one, I'm going to go over Unity. Unity itself, how to configure that. Move it to the bottom and everything. For the next video, I'm still going to go over Unity, but I'll still doing, be doing it from Unity 2D, since some things from there will work for Unity 3D as well. However, Unity 3D comes with all the fancy options, such as actually moving it to the bottom and changing the size of your icons, and I'm going to show you about that right now. So, to start off with, how do you easily customize Unity 3D? Well, link should be in the description for this, but follow these by copying and pasting them all into your terminal it will install my Unity, which is the program used to easily customize your Unity. However, this does not sadly work for things when Unity is on the bottom. And it will only show you simple or some of the main simple things, which is just fine. I think this actually comes in the repositories in 12.04 automatically. But, uh, if you don't want like large or middle, something in between those two, how do you get it? Well, you install Configs Config Settings Manager. And if you also want to move it to the bottom, you need to go over here and follow these three. Don't pay attention to step one, that's only if you have it already installed back when it was still highly experimental and only worked on 32 bit. Let's install that. If you want to get it to the bottom, this will also install Configs Config Settings Manager. But if you don't want it to the bottom, you're fine with having it on the left, which actually makes sense. You have the scroll bar over here on the right. You have your notifications up here. And a lot of people have widescreen stuff. So it only makes sense to put that thing on the left, doesn't it? Anyway. Go over here. To your software center. Tap in. Compose config. That will pop up. Install that. I also recommend Genome Tweak Tool. It is known as Advanced Settings, I don't know why. Gconf as well. That one, not the first one. In order to change a few stuff. And also I highly recommend Synaptic Package Manager. It used to come in by default, it doesn't anymore, but hey. It's still available. So actually have my Synaptic Manager open here. I typed in Fusion and installed some extra plugins for my compiz just to have some more fun with some stuff. I'm going to be explaining about like custom fonts, custom icon themes in a bit. If you want to change your background, it's easy. Right click, select change background. You have all these actually pretty neat ones by default. If you want to change it though, go to the pictures folder, select whichever one you want. I like my dragon up back there. You can also have colors and gradients. And since I'm running on a laptop, I like to go over here, go to touchpad. And also, I have disabled to disable touchpad while typing. I thought that was just dumb. I also got two finger scrolling now. That also enables horizontal scrolling. So, cool for me. Anyway. Uh, yes, Compare is Config Settings Manager. Hit the Windows key, Super button, known to someone's Windows logo. Or you can make this an, somewhat of an arm stretch. It's actually not all that bad. Manually click on this and type it in. This will bring up this menu. Now, to go through more advanced settings, this is the actual Unity plugin. That's official one. You can pull these up and down whichever way you want. Very nice. These are the more advanced settings for Unity. And you can also go over here for the unofficial plugin that we have installed already. And the same thing will apply. Ta da! Backlight, hold on, backlight, toggle, toggle. Does that. It's actually very nice. Preferably, I prefer the fade animation to the sliding one. I don't know why. I just like it better. But hey, that's pretty cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
that's how you configure your Unity. You can also get your Compares Desktop Cube, which I actually prefer to the desktop wall. However, in 11.10 I get this strange glitch that when I rotate it, it will flash whatever I had open in the previous window. I don't know why. However, if you enable it and that happens to you, and you want to disable it, it will crash your Compares config settings manager to which I say hit Alt F2 and type in Unity space dash dash reset. This will put everything back to the default values. You can also go up here to general options, switch over your desktop size. This will configure how many of these you actually have open. I like to keep it at five. How do I navigate? Rather than going back and forth all the way here, just to find what I have. One of the things that's rather cool is the Expo plugin which I used to have Vortex on, however that has a strange click ev glitch, everything is black so I have to keep that to fade and no, just zoom no, fade and zoom yeah, fade and okay, I'm confused now I'm pro probably because of my recording oh, that's it, zoom just zoom that's one of the easiest way, easier ways I personally prefer the scale plugin that by default hitting the super button and W will go through all of your open stuff. That's how I navigate on a daily basis. So, you can spend all day in there, however, we're going to do some other stuff. For example, installing custom fonts and themes. How do we do this? Well, for custom fonts it's actually rather easy. Just double click on it. It'll show this, install font, and then we open our genome tweak tool that we installed earlier. For some reason it's known as advanced settings and as you can see desktop you can configure what icons appear there fonts this is where you can install your custom fonts yes it is the kingdom hearts font call me a nerd or whatever you wish genome shell, shell extensions those are for the genome shell which doesn't really affect us here oh yes by the way this we've gone into the part where this is configurable for both unity 2d and 3d the My Unity, the bottom launcher, that only affects Unity 3D. Sorry, Unity 2D users. But anyway, back over to here. You see I have this custom theme installed. How do we get custom themes? I'll explain it a bit. As for custom cursors, quids up. QIDSP has an excellent tutorial on that. Go search that in YouTube. If you want some uh, custom cursors there. I picked this one. It's actually pretty nice. Also, I've installed custom icon theme that actually came from the help of webupdate.org which is a very useful site I highly recommend going there checking it daily adding it to your favorites that as well as OMG Ubuntu this current theme is called the Fianza icon theme just go over to your uh, web update type in Fianza it'll come up it'll show you how to install it but anyway, back over to here. Not there. Here. So, icons, got that. Custom themes. It used to be a whole lot easier where you could just click on it and install. Now you gotta follow an extra step. Go to your home folder, wherever that may be. Hit Control H, this will show up all, make all your hidden folders show up. Never you know, never knew you had so many, huh? That's because you don't really need to pay attention to those. Anyway, click on dot themes. If it's not already there, then make a folder, name it dot themes, dot being the period, and extract your folder for DTK3 themes. You must search for GTK3 because GTK2 will no longer work for you. It used to, now it doesn't. So GTK3 themes in your Google search, find some, download them then extract them here into themes dot themes you can see I have some GTK too they don't show up anyway once that's done you open your genome tweak tool and it will come up in here so we've got custom themes got custom icons got our custom fonts and I'm running out of time so 
I shall quickly go over how is it for new previous window users, though I have grown up on Windows, my workspace has been moved to the left, but if you're really frustrated and want to move it to the right, there is a way. Which again, this will work for any interface that you have. And that is, open your gconf. Type in gconf. Now, I believe for Nautilus, you go over to apps, down to, oh yes, metacity, sorry, metacity, general, and aha, here it is. By default, it has close, minimize, and maximize. If you want to move them over to the right, double click on that, start editing it, type in semicolon, at least I think that's what it is, and type in minimize, comma, max, in my eyes, comma, close. That will give you the traditional layout over to the right. You can actually have them for whatever you wish, but if that's what you want, then you get the option right there. I like it over to the left, like that. But that's how you do it. Alright, that's pretty much it. I really hope that I haven't gone over time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have configured Unity quite decently. And of course, being open source, there are ways to even put more configurations. For example, OMG Ubuntu has a guide on how to get your desktop to look like this. Which is actually very, very, very cool. However, I like the way it looks currently. Actually, I prefer this over to the left, which I'm going to fix once we come back. In the next episode, I shall go over apps to help you out. They will work for both Unity 2D and 3D. I will be explaining the difference of the two, why I use Unity 2D on a daily basis rather than Unity 3D. Uh, I also recommend, links will be in the description, this wallpaper. It shows you all the shortcuts, hotkeys, and whatever. It's actually a very, very nice. It's not an arm struggle as some people actually think. Again, have like school or whatever. No problem. Just move them over to your launcher, have them whichever way that you wish. And then hit super key. And I have this one to open my notes. This one opens my documents. Well, not documents, writer. And voila. Very easy, very simple, very nice. Hope I've given you a few things to like spend all day configuring, finding out what cool things it can do. For example, this cool effect, the fire effect, and of course, the good old wobbly windows. So again, hope I helped, hope I helped you out. I gotta ask, what do you want to see in the next one? You want maybe, since, of course, if we cannot move this down to the bottom in Unity 2D, you want maybe a panel on the bottom to get better navigation? That's possible. You want uh, this thing right here, which is actually a genome-style menu working here in Unity. You want that? That's available to you. You want a CPU manager? Got that. Update indicator? Got that. And of course, good old Genome Pi, which I actually use on a daily basis. It really helps out with the navigation. So again, I ask, what do you want to see? What do you think I should go over? Uh, I should also explain on how to get like a working screensaver. Also, how to like change around your login screen, whether it's just a picture or even having like moving creatures going about. So again, thank you for watching. Hope I helped you out. Hope you enjoyed it. What do you want to see? for the next interface, Unity 2D, though it will also affect Unity 3D, however you wish. Mostly going over apps. But yes. Hope you enjoyed. Post a comment. What should I do next video? And I shall see you then.